That was Amelia Harper there. More protests are planned for the coming days across the country in the wake of the Southport stabbing attack in which three little girls were killed. Seven men have been charged with violent disorder, meanwhile, over clashes with police in Hartlepool. This comes after a judge made the exceptional decision to name the 17-year-old suspect after he appeared in court yesterday. That was in an attempt to prevent further misinformation from spreading online. Well, our North of England correspondent, Fraser Maud, is in Southport for us. And, Fraser, several days after those shocking scenes occurred at the beginning of the week, what is the mood, what is the atmosphere in Southport now? It's so quiet here today, and it has been for the past few days. Initially, the chaos of Monday, that was followed by the violence of Tuesday evening. But since then, this has been j just a place for quiet reflection. People going about their normal business, pausing, stopping to read the messages, to look at the flowers, at the toys that have been left, and now chalk messages that are being left by many of the, of the young children in the area. Heartbreaking to see children under the age of 10. They're writing condolence messages for other children the same age as them. It's just so sad. And the people here... They want to be seen to be a community that cares, a community that is supportive, that is loving. That's the Southport that people here want the rest of the world to see. We heard Keir Starmer last night talking about the thugs who created violence here on the streets of Southport just a day after the terrible tragedy, saying that he's going to introduce a new national capability uh, to involve sharing intelligence, wider deployment of facial recognition systems, uh, criminal behaviour orders uh, that we've seen used uh, with football hooliganism used more widely. We've seen arrests made by Cleveland police after disturbances in Hartlepool. We've seen Hampshire police appealing for witnesses and information on eight people they want to talk to after uh, trouble at a migrant hospital in Aldershot the other night, uh, Greater Manchester Police, they've just released uh, a release saying that a man's been charged with violent disorder and attempted ABH of a police officer after disorder in Newton Heath on Wednesday. The police are looking for these people involved and they are prepared to take them to the full extent of the law. That's what Keir Starmer says he's going to do. That's what the Home Office says they're going to do. We've also heard today from uh, Merseyside Police. They've issued a statement amid fears of potential trouble uh, over the weekend saying that uh, we want to make this absolutely clear. Anyone who intends to cause future damage and harm to our communities will be dealt with robustly using all our available powers. Goes on to say there are extensive plans and considerable police resources in place to quickly deal with anyone intent on causing disorder over the coming days. And it finishes by saying we will look to bring to justice every person who is identified committing criminal damage and acts of violence against police staff, officers and its community. On the positive side of the tragic events that have happened here, Liverpool this weekend will be lighting up many, big, uh, many of their uh, historic buildings in pink as a mark of solidarity and respect for everyone affected by the tragic incidents this week. Uh, the St George's Hall, Town Hall will all be lit up. There's going to be a unity rally uh, in Liverpool as well to show response to the violence that we've seen here uh, in the past week and show that uh, Liverpool is a, a city united in fighting against that. The mosque here in Southport itself, which was the target of, uh, of the violence, uh, much of the violence on Tuesday night here, has reopened. There are going to be Friday pairs taking place in about an hour's time uh, and they're expecting up to 250 people there for prayers being read in English and Arabic as they get back to their normal business. And uh, one imam uh, of a mosque in Liverpool uh, that's been potentially targeted by some online calls to action, as they're referred to, has said he's prepared to speak to the people who turn up to protest, to invite them into the mosque, to give them free food and drink and to discuss their differences, to try and take a more proactive, a more pragmatic approach to the divisions which uh, are being fuelled by some online, in this vacuum online that's been created by the events here this week, uh, to show that, uh, that the Islamic community is not one uh, of hatred, but one of peace and understanding, and they want to share that message uh, with anybody who turns up there with the intention to protest. Fraser Maud in Southport this afternoon. Thank you. Much appreciated.